Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Anna and today's video I'm going to be talking about the new Camo CC Cream Foundation from e.l.f. Sorry, my box is a little busted because I had to open it up to do swatches, which you guys will see in a few minutes. So this is a very, very new launch from e.l.f. I actually got mine over the weekend, but we're gonna play with it, we're gonna talk about it, and we're gonna try it out. So if you are new to my channel, I do makeup videos, I do tutorials, I do reviews, anything makeup related, I'm starting to kind of play more with skincare too, I got you covered. So if you are interested in finding out a little bit more about this foundation, definitely keep on watching. So this launched I think last week, like I literally, as soon as I saw it, I think it was like last Thursday or Wednesday or something. As soon as I saw it, I was like, all right, I'm going to put an order in and I picked up a couple of other things that I'm going to be reviewing as well. But I was excited about this one. So this is new. It's supposed to be kind of like the regular camo concealer. I have never tried that one. I've used the hydrating one that I like a lot, but apparently the first version was really popular and people were like, Loving the coverage so much, they wanted it in a foundation form, so that's where this guy comes in. I'm going to read to you just a little bit of the claimers, and if you're new here, this is how I run my videos. I talk about the product, I talk about the claims, we cut into up close swatches so that you guys can see. Then we go into like a demo, and then I give you my overall thoughts. So that's how we're gonna work it. So this foundation, I have my notes, I'm gonna read off of the piece of paper here that I have. It's a uh, CC cream. So CC stands for color correcting, meaning if you have redness, if you have some like spots, the pigments in the foundation are going to neutralize any discoloration and then they're going to cover. You know what I mean? So almost like if you were to take a corrector and a foundation, marry it together, and then you have a CC cream. So it does claim to have full coverage and it's going to have a natural finish. It has collagen in it, which improves skin, uh, skin's elasticity. It has peptides for a refreshed complexion. Niacinamide helps to brighten and even out skin complexion. And it has hyaluronic acid to help lock in hydration. So, I'm thinking that once applied, I'm gonna have a more skin-like finish. I don't think I'm gonna have a dewy finish. It, I think it's gonna be more skin-like. I don't know if it's going to be matte. Like I always heard that the CC, I'm sorry, the camo concealer, the original was more matte. But again, I never tried it, but I've heard amazing things about it. That's why I got excited about this one. So I was looking at the shades. I think I want to say it comes in like 20 shades. I could be wrong, but I think it's like 20 shades. And I noticed that the shades had different undertones and that's kind of where I was stuck. Not that I was stuck. I, I appreciate that it had different undertones. So I think if you're cool undertone, warm undertone, neutral, you're going to be able to find something. I was just stuck with, because you have fair, light, medium, tan, and I think it was like dark or something. And I've never tried foundation from e.l.f. This is my first one. And I just remember from seeing it in the store, there's always only like five or six shades. And most of the time, foundations either run too pink or they just don't work with my skin tone. So I was like going crazy looking at swatches. I finally found one that had like swatches on like the forearm of somebody's hand. And I was stuck between medium and light. And I'm looking at the pictures and I'm comparing and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go with light because the medium looked like it was gonna be for someone like almost like tan. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm always like, I'm, it's hard for me to figure out where I fall because I'm not fair but sometimes I fall between light or medium. You know what I mean? Anyway, I got the shade Light 240W. So we're gonna cut into swatches so you can see up close, you can see like the texture, you can see the color, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna put it on. All right, so here we have the color correcting, full coverage, natural finish, Elf Camo CC Cream. It says skin loving ingredients, collagen, peptides, and niacinamide. And here are some of the drug facts. <laughs> it 
So it says, ditch your basic foundation. This color correcting cream is the only product you'll need to achieve a natural looking complexion with a full, but full coverage. I'm sorry. Multitasking cream <laughs> infused with collagen, peptides, and niacinamide known to plump, hydrate, and smooth appearance of your skin and has an SPF of 30. Now, I tried my best to match myself with the online pictures. Um, I don't know if this is going to be a good match. I mean, it kind of looks like it will be, but I don't know. We're going to have to see. So let me open this up real quick. Again, here's the packaging it's like it's black and then it has like a holographic background here where it says color correcting full coverage so I got the shade light 240 W and it's described as a light with warm golden undertones so let's let's swatch it I don't think you need to shake it no just do two pumps so it does have a pump on it, which is nice. I feel like that's very sanitary. So we're just gonna swatch this and see if this is my shade. Oh wait, that actually might work. So here's the pump. It's like, I would say almost like a gel kind of formula. Like it's thick, it's not watery at all. So now you can see I have my veins here. Let's see how well that covers. Oh, okay. Yeah, that shade's going to be good. Good. I'm glad I didn't get a bad shade. So as I'm like blending it out and working it like into the back of my hand, it's definitely a thick formula. Wow. That is, yeah, I'd say that's, that's full coverage. Now, as far as the finish goes, I would say it's a slightly matte. I don't know if I would say it's a skin-like finish. Here, let me look at it closer. Okay, yeah. So there's there's like a soft radiance to it. It's definitely not dewy though. So yeah, I guess yeah, you could say that it, it is a skin-like finish or a natural finish. That's crazy. That coverage is really good. All right, so we're gonna try this one on and see how it looks. All right, so. Full coverage at least in my opinion it's full coverage i go for more of like a light like almost barely their coverage to light coverage this i think is going to be full coverage on my face you saw now i do have high hopes on the color when i saw it in the package i was like oh man i don't know that looks really light like it looks lighter than my face a little bit but now after seeing the swatches i'm a little bit more confident now i want to quickly say i do prep my skin with my skincare routine i do have um, an spf on that tends to be a little bit more glowy so i might get not a dewy finish with this foundation but if it's a little more radiant that's why okay so i'm going to do one side with a brush and i'm going to do the ultimate blending brush from elf and then i'm going to do a sponge on the other side I typically use my fingers, so I'm gonna start applying it with my fingers and kind of, you know, just to see how it works in case you're like me, but then I'm gonna buff it out with the brush. So I'm gonna take this right here and I'm only gonna pump a little bit because that coverage in the swatch was pretty, pretty intense. So I'm gonna come in close. I have a little situation there. So as far as my hands or my fingers, it applies pretty nice. It's not bad. What do you guys think? That coverage is nice. Yeah, it's not getting like dewy or anything. All right, so I'm just gonna dot it and then I'm gonna go in with a brush.
go with my blending brush. I wish they would come out with a brush like this, but smaller. Like this one's great. It kind of gets the job done quickly, but it would be nice to have it a little bit smaller. Unless they have it already and I'm just, I'm not aware of it yet, but e.l.f. does make amazing brushes. Like one of the best brushes out there. I'm going to add a little bit more just here. So that's one layer, actually, I just put on. I'm going to do another layer. That's a very, very soft scent. Very soft. Nothing strong. Not like the Wet n Wild. Everybody knows the Wet n Wild fiasco with the photo finish when it first launched. Not like that. All right, so that is a brush application. I think it looks good. I need a little more coverage here. You can see that I'm a little more red there. It lays on nice. And now if you know me, maybe to you this is not a lot of foundation, a lot of layers for myself. If you follow me, you know this is kind of a lot for me. But... It doesn't look like it. It actually lays on very nicely. Okay, now we're going to go on the other side. We're going to do sponge. Now, same thing with the sponge. I'm going to dot my face and then I'm going to blend out. Because this foundation is definitely thick. It's a little thicker than the ones I typically use. And I think the sponge and I'm just using a real techniques one is going to shear that out a little bit with the sponge you might get more of a glowier finish because of the wet sponge I'm actually going to pick up color match is really good I'm actually happy with this it works perfect with my skin tone So the sponge is nice. It does shear the product out though. I feel like I would be here a little bit longer applying this with a sponge than with my fingers or a brush. So I'm gonna just add a little bit more and just press that in. What do you guys think? I guess, honestly, the finish is the same on both sides. Sometimes when you use a sponge, the sponge will kind of make it look more glowy, um, but I, I feel like it's the same finish. I'm just gonna go back with the brush and kind of just press everything in. All right, now, I typically go for more dewy foundation, a more radiant foundation. This is nice. This is full coverage. It looks like skin. It doesn't, yeah. It looks really good. I like the coverage. I like that I layered it on a couple of times and my skin still looks like my skin. You know what I mean? I like this one. I'm just, I'm surprised because I typically don't go for full coverage foundations. I like, I tend to shy away from that and I like to work with my fingers. So I do like the finish of the foundation with the brush and I do like it with the sponge. I'm just, I'm just lazy and I don't want to sit there and be like this for a long time. One thing that I would do though, is I would do it with the brush and then let me just go over this area here with the sponge just to kind of melt everything together. But you get the, yeah, you get the same finish with a sponge and a brush. It is full coverage. And you get that. So, are you guys gonna try this foundation out? 
I'm curious. Let me know. I want to hear your thoughts. I like it. I'm actually, I'm, I'm happy with this one. And I'm glad that they have expanded their shade range. Again, I think your best bet is always going to be to go to e.l.f. Um, cosmetics.com because if you go to like CVS or Target, sometimes they don't have, well, Target actually does better, but CVS never has like the full line. I don't know when these is going to be rolling out in stores, but they do have it online. Again, I'm shade 240W light. So if you're my skin tone, this is going to work for you as well. Um, yeah, I like that. I'm impressed. Okay, here's another, this is another win for e.l.f. for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please, if you have any comments, questions, or anything, feel free to leave them uh, below. I would love to hear from you guys, and I hope you have an amazing day. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.